Across the White Water Tower, I just want to start out by saying appreciate you guys for uh, taking the time to chat with me. Um, just to start out, dude, you guys were amazing the first time I saw you. This is the second time uh, I set my friends on fire tour. I know you guys are about to uh, hop on that tour again with them. Um, how do you guys feel about that? You know, I know you guys love playing with them. Uh, I think I talked to one of you guys last time. I don't remember who it was, but. Uh, yeah, what's it like uh, uh, touring with those guys and knowing them? And uh, how, how did how did how did you guys get the second like? Because I know it's the same exact lineup, right? Yeah. How did that come about? So you start how you know them. So I like I'm a big fan of Isafov group, a big fan. So like I knew them from just like going to the shows and like hanging out with Matt and yeah. Nate and stuff. And then that like worked our way because I was like I'm in the band, you know, please take us out on tour. You know that shit's cool. So yeah. But uh, like you know, this is our third run with them. I'm super stoked. Like I said, they're one of my favorite bands, so I'm super excited. For it's always fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, we did a few local shows with them in our area, and I was like, this band's fucking sick. I'm yeah, dude. But uh, the first two tours we did together were incredible. They're like one of my favorite bands to go on tour with. They're so much fun. All the guys are just super sick. For me personally, it's fucking weird because I like half play guitar for them now, so I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. I'm yeah. playing two shows for them on this tour, so that'd be fun. But uh, <laughs> it's all very surreal. With oh, yeah. and Bob. They're a great band. It's really an honor. Yeah, sure. dude. Yeah. Every day is a new experience, for sure. For sure. <laughs> so uh, it seems like, I mean, now you guys are touring with them. It seems like you guys are hopping on like uh, the MySpace bands and stuff like yeah. that. Um, how? I mean, do you guys have like a good uh, manager, or, or how do you guys get on these uh, these tours and stuff? Because I know you guys are uh, from what New York, right? Right. Yep. And uh, a lot of these guys are from the South and stuff. So how do you guys connect with these guys? Action and... artist is the agency. We okay. They manage us actually. They're agency, but they manage us. Uh, and John DiBiano, he works directly with us. We're all from the same, like, kind of small town region. So it just kind of worked out that way. Like, we have a lot of notable people from our area. But he's uh, gladly someone on our camp, you know? Like, yeah. So it's super awesome. Hell yeah. Um, um, so how did you guys form? Uh, like, what year? Uh, how did you guys meet and stuff? Did you guys know each other beforehand, go to school and stuff? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, originally... Uh -oh. That's okay. <laughs> uh, so originally, uh, I would say I came up with the idea for the band when I was like 14. Okay. But I didn't really take it seriously or do anything about it until I was like 19 or so. Yeah. So then I like found uh, Miles. I found a couple other people back in the day that like cycled out. They weren't really that serious. Do it all, blah, blah, blah. I found Steven. And then lastly, we found Evan. And that was... Not disturbing. It's okay, man. Dude, these, these, these are all about just going to flow. It doesn't matter at all, man. Yeah, so, that was really dope. So it was just like, you know, I feel like it was basically, I went to high school with one guy, that guy went to like college with another, college with another college, and then I met him over Instagram, actually. Okay. And then, you, like, we just, like, clicked musically. It's like, he writes stuff, and then I write stuff that he expected me to write. So, so were you in another band whenever uh, you got hit up? Yeah, or? I was in a series of, like, arguably bad local bands for yeah. a while. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I think a lot of people get stuck in that. <laughs> he hits me up. I, like, just got into, like, my shitty day job. I was, like, an after-school, like, camp counselor. Yeah. Like, like, kids, <laughs> his parents work late. And he's like, yo, like, we need a guitar player tonight. And I'm like, shit. I, like, just got to work, and it's, like, 2.30 p.m. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you got to know the set by, like, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so uh, I was like, yo, I can't do it this time, but like, you know, hit me up like whenever you need somebody again. And then the following year is 2017. He's like, yo, you want to play with Icy Stars? I was like, yeah. yeah dude. <laughs> so uh, since then, uh, yeah, I've been in the band for about six years now. Hell yeah. And uh, it's been fucking great. Hell yeah. So uh, what are what are some of y'all's uh, influences? Um, what are y'all some what are some bands you listen to on the road and that you you know you have on repeat on on the playlist? Um, Periphery's like my favorite band Periphery, ever. Yeah. I've seen them every single time they've come through. Uh, Loathe is another one of my favorite bands. I just love like really modern prog stuff and metalcore. Uh, I've been getting really into El Santa, so being on tour with these guys. Is really yeah. Cool. But uh, I listen to a lot of different shit. Oh yeah. Uh, growing up, my favorite bands are. Chelsea, Grid, Alisada, Fear, Lovely, Las Vegas, Attack, Attack, I Set My Friends on Fire, oh, yeah. Sales. 
Hell yeah. All sick dude. bands, dude. Metalcore, post hardcore, prog. Like anything from like, you know, early 2000s, post hardcore to like modern metalcore. Like, all that Evo shit. All that shit. Yeah. Just me. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what are y'all plans for the rest of the year after this tour? I know you guys are going on a short run with us having our friends on fire. Yeah. Uh, are y'all um, wanting to like make come out with more music? Are you uh, just gonna do like more like uh, tours? I mean, what's what's the plan for the next year or so, the rest of the year? So we have to finish off this tour because there's three legs of it. So this is actually gonna occupy the rest of the year because the last run is in like November. Yeah. Into like almost December, so it's gonna be dope. But uh, yeah, we have a new EP coming out. Uh, we have a new single that you can pre-save. Oh, yeah. of this right now so we're like super super stoked for everyone to hear the new direction for the band you know it's uh it's different the new way i feel like it's kind of an evolution in the ways that you would expect from us because it's kind of like hype oh my god yeah florida i love florida man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. but, yeah man uh we got new music coming we're super excited about it like matt said it's just like the next step for us pretty much and um yeah we have the alisana tour this and Fof next month, and we're trying to fill in the rest of the year with some other stuff that hopefully will be announced soon. But uh, so far, so good. We're very blessed to be here. Hell yeah. Um, so to end off, I try to keep these pretty short. Um, what's some bands you think deserve more recognition that uh, you want to shout out that kind of uh, go under the radar that you feel get slept on? I got one right now. Yeah, you yeah. Okay. So the promoter for this show, his name is Jose. He sings for a band called Vagrants. Oh, dude, I love Jose. Yeah, yeah they're fucking boy. really good. We saw them the first time we saw Limbs because we went to go hang out with our boys. The Ryan yeah. that we toured with last year. Yeah. And so we met Limbs, saw Vagrants for the first time, and I was very blown away. Yeah, them. dude. So shout out Vagrants. Love Jose. Yeah, they're he from Pensacola. Plays, uh, yeah. Guitar for the World Live. Yep. And yeah, dude. So yeah. I was happy guys. for him to get that, dude. I mean, really he's cool. been in Vagrants for years, and they've went through so many members and stuff, and he's it's awesome that he's kept it alive and yeah. stuff. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot of people's favorite local band around that's here. so cool yeah. yeah there's a band from our area called Limbidol they're like okay. a newer local band but oh, they're yeah. super super dope oh, yeah. Limbidol there was people it's great dudes great music awesome guys, check awesome them out. guys. Yeah. Limbidol check them out hopefully we'll do some dates with them at some point this year I do it oh yeah guys. shout out well, across the white water tower man they've got sick music dude go check it out on all platforms it, uh, the guy like rapping, you know, like it, it's just, I don't even know what to call it. It's just awesome. Like, it's awesome music, man. Make a little something for everybody. Yeah. We enjoy all that music. Yeah. It's not like, we're not really throwing shit at the wall. We, just, yeah. we enjoy this amount of widespread music. And it's so, good, dude. You guys come along around. Uh, artistic expression. Yeah. No boundaries. Like one exact subgenre of medical is just not enough. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys were awesome tonight, man. You guys are always awesome. Uh, stoked to see you guys again in Fort Walton Beach in a couple of weeks. Um, safe travels the rest of the tour. Thanks, dude. And yeah, man, appreciate you guys chatting with me, dude. Thank you so Anytime. much. Thank you. Thank you.